Trump just issued urgent warning to all Americans about the six shots Obama pushed for eight years. There has been a lot of debate recently over the effectiveness of the flu vaccine and of course, its potential adverse consequences. Over the last eight years, Barack Obama peddled the flu vaccine for the big pharmaceutical companies despite numerous reports that contradicted its efficacy. Thousands of Americans have stepped forward to tell their horror stories on how they have been injured by this vaccine, and now President Trump has come forward to warn its citizens of the danger they do indeed pose. There is no better way to control a population than to instill fear into them, and that is precisely what has been done with the flu vaccine. No one desires to get sick, so when companies began to offer a way to bypass getting the flu, many people jumped on the bandwagon in hopes to stay healthy. However, the flu vaccine is not everything it is chalked up to be since the risks of this magical shot far outweigh the benefits. In a report published by the National Center for Biotechnology Information in the journal Vaccine, researchers found that the flu vaccine can cause a significant increase of inflammation in pregnant women. The consequence of this inflammation can increase the risk of preeclampsia that can lead to eclampsia, which causes life-threatening seizures in women when giving birth. In another study published in the Journal of Pediatrics, found that 85% of infants that were given multiple vaccines experienced abnormal elevations of CRP than infants who were only given a single dose. CRP is a protein found in the blood, and a rise in this protein is a physiological response to inflammation in the body. And, last but definitely not least, a study that was published in International Journal of Medicine, revealed something that the mainstream media does not report at all. It was discovered that flu vaccines result in inflammatory cardiovascular changes indicative of increased risk for serious heart-related events, like a heart attack. Together with an inflammatory reaction, influenza A vaccine-induced platelet activation and sympathovocal imbalance towards adrenergic predominance. Significant correlations were found between CRP levels and HRV, heart rate variability, parameters suggesting a pathophysiological link between inflammation and cardiac autonomic regulation. The vaccine-related platelet activation and cardiac autonomic dysfunction may transiently increase the risk of cardiovascular events. With all this information on how dangerous these vaccines are it is no surprise that many Americans are opting out of them each and every year. Now, President Trump has announced that he also is not a big fan of the flu vaccine calling it totally ineffective and added that he has never had one in the past and doesn't plan on receiving one either. President Trump was interviewed by Opie and Anthony on Sirius XM, where he shared his controversial view that will surely tick off Big Pharma and their lobbyists. I've never had one. And thus far I've never had the flu. I don't like the idea of injecting bad stuff into your body. And that's basically what they do. And this one, latest flu vaccine, has not been very effective to start off with. I have friends that religiously get the flu shot and then they get the flu. You know, that helps my thinking. I've seen a lot of reports that the last flu shot is virtually totally ineffective. President Trump again is absolutely correct with his assessment of the flu vaccine, and he is not the only one who shares this view. Here is more from Collective Evolution. The former chief vaccine office at the FDA, Dr. Anthony Morris states, there is no evidence that any influenza vaccine thus far developed is effective in preventing or mitigating any attack of influenza. Of course, this statement has been attacked by many science blogs stating he isn't an expert on the flu and that his opinion shouldn't be trusted. A classic move by opposers where an attack is set out on statements made using emotional arguments attempting to make others feel unintelligent for questioning something. Yet the opposers often provide no evidence to state the research or opinion is incorrect. This is perhaps one of the most dangerous aspects of parts of the scientific community. To think of how many things are ignored or shot down out of arrogance and fear of overturning old ideas is astonishing. The prestigious Cochrane Library released a review in 2009 stating there is not enough evidence to decide whether routine vaccination to prevent influenza in healthy adults effective. 5. Given the ineffectiveness of the vaccine and the potential side effects that go along with the vaccine, why put yourself at risk? 
Influenza does not appear to show any moderate risk of hospitalization or death and avoiding the flu can be done very easily with natural means. The evidence is out there for anyone to find and come to the same conclusion thousands of others already have. The flu vaccine is virtually worthless, and it can cause more complications than getting the flu virus naturally. With all of this evidence at the tips of our fingers, don't you think it is time to end the hype around the flu vaccine altogether? together.